people, professions, hobbies, and interests is exactly where you want to do your research. And just like what's on my screen here, we're searching up the teacher niche, and this is a great place for you to start doing product research. Like we can see this product here has sold 120 in the last 30 days. This one also sold 139 products in the last 30 days. And this one here has sold 268 products in the last 30 days. And yes, this product here has sold almost 400 products in the last 30 days. And when you were able to break down your research to focus on these four areas, people, professions, hobbies, and interests, you're able to go deeper into what type of products you should start selling and start recreating for your shop. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can go deeper with your research, what to do when you have research a great niche to target, and how you can use this data to create your own designs that you can sell right now on Etsy. I'm gonna share this all with you coming up next. Now the tool that we're gonna to use today to help us do this data is Everbee. Everbee is a fantastic tool because as you can see here, it really breaks down just not the amount of products that have sold, but I can see all this data in regards to price, listing age, total sales, monthly sales, and I can also see the trend track to see if this product is going up in sales or is it losing its momentum. And if you're doing product research without the data in front of you, it's gonna be very hard for you to design with confidence because again, you're not seeing the track of sales that's based upon this product based upon this keyword based upon this niche so if you do want to get started with everybody i'll make sure i leave all the information down in my description box below for you to go ahead and try this out and start getting into all of this data so you can know for sure the type of products you need to start selling again all the information to everybody will be down in my description box below for you to start utilizing this and start making amazing products i like to target people professions occasions and seasons in our case today we're talking about profession this can be done for any profession a nurse shirt a teacher shirt just for example but from here we want to go further and do some research to see number one how many products have sold for this particular listing and most importantly when was this product released those are the two most important things I look at to determine if there's an opportunity for me to gain some type of value here in the market. And with that being said, we can head over to Everbee on the left hand side and we're going to go ahead and hit product analytics as we do want to go further to see the individual listings and what they have done in regards to sales. Now, there's a lot of metrics we can definitely look at here, but I like to look at two of the metrics. Number one, how many have they sold in the last 30 days and how old is the listing? If the listing has been around for four years and it's made 20 sales for the last 30 days, that's great, but it had enough time to be in the market on Etsy and therefore get positioned in regards to the algorithm. But if a product been around just for a few short months and it's making sales that's a huge opportunity for you and i to learn from this and start creating high value products now with that being said we can condense our list a little bit further here if we do want to go over to custom we can go ahead and just select certain ones we want to see and certain information we don't want to see we can also move these around here which i think a lot of people don't know again if you want to see all of the important data in front of you just move these around which i have done and it makes it really easy for us to determine which ones we ought to target we can also filter these data points from highest to lowest just simply by clicking on one of the listings here. So we can click the listing age and see the most earliest listings as we can see here, which again makes it really easy for us to determine which ones have made a lot of sales here just within a short time frame. Like we can see this shirt here, obviously we're focusing on the teacher niche, been around for a month, made about 48 sales in the last 30 days, 62 sales in total. We can go down further. See this shirt also has been around just for 30 days and made 46 sales. I think that's a huge value point when you're trying to do data research because if a product just released and it's already making multiple sales, this is just going to increase as time move on and we definitely want to learn from this and start incorporating our own unique styles into this. This product here has been around for a month and made 80 sales. Same thing like this product here has been around for two months and made 63 sales. So that's how we will look at the earliest age in regards to listing but we can also do this in reverse here looking at another a line of data and that's with the monthly sales here for the 30 day count same thing as we've done before with the listing age we can go in and filter this with the highest or lowest sales count for the last 30 days and from here obviously we're going to have some products on the side that may be well beyond the 12 month target we want to look at here which is totally fine we can still learn from products outside of the 12 month range here when we're looking at recently released products but you will still find some great products here this has been around for eight months 
months and it has made over a thousand products in it in the last 30 days and sold almost 6,000 products just within eight months. Yeah, this is probably be one I would target. Definitely go into this micro niche a little bit further and see what is this design? What are the winning points in this design area? And what I also like to look at is what are the gaps? How can I fill in some gaps, provide more opportunities for my product to sell better than what we have here? So this is just another way for you to do data research, especially when you are jumping on Etsy. I know it can be tough when you go to the Etsy search bar and try to do research and data. Again, I like to focus on people, professions, occasions, and interests. When you're able to identify those four major niches, you can find so many micro niches within those that can help you sell well. So we've done our research. We have some great products here in front of us. This has been around four months, so over 500 products in the last 30 days. These are all winning products. I would definitely encourage you to follow, and we can even go further into these micro niches to determine what are some other areas that we can go in further to see huge opportunities here but again definitely some opportunities for us to win in that regard all right so here's a product that we found to do extremely well this is the autism awareness shirt we can see that it has done extremely well it has been around for four months sold well over 600 products but also within the last 30 days that's where the majority of the sales came from so 571 products in the last 30 days so this is current this is trending this is making sales right now and we definitely want to capitalize on this particular area this particular design this particular phrase but again i like to utilize ai tools to help me go beyond what i see here and maybe give a different variation to this maybe a whole different version of this that I can start selling in my shop. And so I like to use AI tools to help me find great designs like this, use AI to find the great prompts and then remix that from there. So here is the tool that I'm going to use. This is my creative prompt AI tool. This is a tool that I built for my Etsy community where it's very easy for you to find great templates you can remix. But even if you can't find templates in our multiple community template form, you can go to the AI generator here and you have the option to upload any mock-up image from Etsy, Amazon, Pinterest, Target. You can upload any mock-up image and right here in the program it will automatically pull out the creative design prompt that you can use for your products so with that being said we want to go ahead and grab this design here head back over to our tool and we're simply going to paste in the design here and when i hit generate description the tool will give me a very complex and creative prompt just focusing on the design itself all right and here's what we gather as a result as you can see very complex prompt here notice how as well is not bringing in anything with a person wearing a shirt or even the text on the mock-up photo is just extracting the design itself even bring it up the text of the product so this is going to be extremely helpful here we can go down further and enhance this prompt with chat gpt so that it can be perfect for a t-shirt product here so we have a very complex prompt even further with chat gpt just to make it perfect for our t-shirt product that we want to create i like creating this to be three four if i'm definitely creating this for a t-shirt here's what it was able to create for us which i think that came out extremely well definitely saved us a ton of time brought in all the different type of flowers brought in the words here again extremely helpful and again we can sell this great on our products because it's very different from what we saw from the original but we want to go a step further and add in again variables that's not in the space that can do extremely well and one of the things i found to do extremely well on Etsy are these famous goose and geese shirts you probably heard me talk about this a lot because this is the current trend this is the current popular design that's doing well but how can we bridge this over into other areas and so we definitely want to find a unique way to get the goose over over into our design here and the cool thing about this tool is that we can go ahead and lock down a little bit further and use the remix function which will look at the original prompt notice all of the design styles the artistic styles all the text that was brought in here and the only thing we have to do here is put in a very simple remix prompt and then the ai tool will remix the original prompt here and give us a variation of this with our remixes in here so what we're going to tell the ai to do is remove all the flowers and just replace the flowers with geese and we're going to see what we get as a result this could be a great integration of a popular design like this shirt here and then bring in that popular element the geese over into our product all right so we said remove all the flowers and replace them with geese keep the same style again just that simple we're going to apply the remix to the original prompt here and here is what we were able to gather as a result and i think that came out extremely well 
definitely take in some of the design things we had with all the multiple flowers here all different colors and it replaced all of those flowers here with geese and still kept in our popular phrase celebrate minds of all kinds which i think is a perfect example of what i mean by remixing top designs and bridging this over to your unique style by utilizing our remix tool in our creative prompt section and this can help you sell extremely well now we can go ahead and remix this further download this and use this on our product but i think this is a great example of how quickly you were able to find top design so here is is another design that we were able to create again this one here is more so edge to edge box design but still something we were able to remix over into a different product here so we grab the prompt definitely add in our remix here use chat GPT to make this perfect for a t-shirt and here's what we were able to gather as a result and i'll share with you some screenshots of how this looks on the t-shirt as well as our other design here and as you can see that came out extremely well all based upon finding top data finding top trends and definitely merging over those design styles into a new area where again it may not be represented with these geese in this particular niche and this can be done for anything you're looking at in regards to sales as we see here with our list there are multiple products you can do this for cross designing bringing new things in and definitely help you sell extremely well by targeting high quality products that you can start creating and selling on etsy now if you're new to all of this and you're not sure how to get started i have created my membership community to help you learn how to create and sell these type of products on etsy with inside of my etsy membership community you have access to my 80 video course series that i share with you every single step you need to do to go from beginner to pro with selling products online with etsy as well as my creative prompt tools like i'm sharing with you in today's video my online coaching and classes as well as getting involved into our community so if you do want to get access into my private membership community where you can get full access to everything i offer i will make sure i leave information down in my description box below and check out this next video here if you want to learn how to scale your products even further so you can start making sales online with etsy as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video